this stop. Before moving forward, let's rewind some time. Four months ago, I started a project known as Project Time Warp, where an object of one period can be moved to another via a distortion of space in relation to time. There are no large hadron collider nor any particle accelerator, just a pin where a bunch of free moving electrons after collision creates a loop in time. Time warping can be dangerous and this happened that day of how I repaired an air pump of aquarium cop, the mask man. So let's begin the story. Yo Pro Tim, I need your help. I'm real busy helping my mom and stuff. And I got this pump. And I love the pump, I don't want to get rid of it. The flow is slowed down. Um, the bubbles decreased and it makes a lot of noise. And when I get home, I'm tired after a long day. I, I, I need to sleep, but I need your help with this pump. Okay, can you do something? Okay, so I made a gadget where you can send the pump via distortion of space. After that, I can see what's wrong with it. All right, bro, sir, I'm gonna send it to you. Let me know when you get it, brother. Thanks so much. It's gonna help me out a lot. Peace. As soon as Aquarium Cox pump came in my house, I checked what's wrong with it. The air bubble production per second is very low and the pump makes noises. So after opening the box, I found the rubber drum eroding due to friction and the small dusts getting trapped inside the membrane. After removing the dusts with a blower, the pump is back again in action and the flow rate increased. As I told, time warping is dangerous. Let's see what happened after this. Yo, bro, Tim, it's the Aquarium Cop. I got the pump! I'm all psyched. Gotta check it out now. Later!